There was a vulnerability recently disclosed in the sudo command of Linux. The super user do command is a method of elevating your privileges. Very essential if you need to do something that requires root or administrator rights. Anyway, it's revolved around the use of PW feedback. That is, if you type a key here, or press a key, I should say, it displays an asterisk on the screen. So yeah, that is feedback instead of just bleep. Instead of just being blank, which is a default for most Linux distributions, with the exception of a Linux Mint. So if you're a Mint user or you have enabled the feature, then this vulnerability does affect you. Although it's very limiting since you do have to be accessing the computer or have gotten into the account in the first place. So yeah, it's kind of password strengths come into it really. This vulnerability was reported by Joe Venix of the Apple Information Security Team. And it's reported as buffer overflow when PW feedback is set in sudoers. So you can get an idea if the feature is enabled by doing sudo l, or as I showed, it only appears when you have the asterisks displayed on the screen. And it's been assigned vulnerability ID CVE 2019-18634. And an easy way of demonstrating whether you're vulnerable or not is by doing that command there with Perl E. It prints out a long line of A's on the screen followed by a null character and then passes that command into sudo. And if you're vulnerable, it will result in a segmentation fault. Although that's just a, the simple demonstration here, but there could be more done with it. The feature was only fully fixed in sudo version 1.8.31. Although between 1.8.26 and 1.8.31, the EOF handling or end of file handling was changed and prevents exploitation of the bug. So the vulnerability is sort of partly there, but not very easy to do. So that uh, would have affected Ubuntu version 19.10. And I have to say, I had a lot of trouble trying to get it working. And it was only when I went back to version 18.04 could I actually get the bug to succeed or get the exploit to succeed. Patches have been released for all Linux distributions, and looking here on Ubuntu, it's been released for all supported versions, well, with the exception of the development version. And the write-up on 9to5Linux shows which versions of sudo you would need for each applicable Ubuntu distribution. So now to have a bit of a mess around and demonstrating this vulnerability. So I have two Ubuntu systems here in the terminal. The one on the left-hand side, quids at Lily, is my main system with the PW feedback feature disabled. And the one on the right-hand side is another version of Ubuntu 1804, but with PW feedback enabled. Looking at the sudo versions, both systems are running a vulnerable version of sudo. Yes, I need to do my updates, but it's just as well I hadn't done them for this video. So first off, you can look at what this Perl output is doing. So it literally just writes a load of A's to the screen, followed by a null character, although you can't actually see the null character. So trying the command on a vulnerable version of sudo with PW feedback disabled results in this. So it actually uh, just presses enter for you. I'm literally not even touching the keyboard, but it doesn't really do anything other than a wrong password to sudo. So yeah, three incorrect attempts. And that's it. But trying the same command on a vulnerable version of sudo with PW feedback enabled results in a segmentation fault and the core being dumped. So okay, that's not spectacular, but it depends on the information an attacker could gain from that segmentation fault. Anyway, it really relies on local access to a system. So remote access is going to be limited unless they've gotten in via SSH or a vulnerable web application. Um, SSH perhaps of the least concern because that's more of a password protection there. Vulnerable web application, well, <laughs> there's probably other issues. There's other vulnerabilities that could be leveraged. And yes, this could be a privileged escalation in that situation. But yeah, I would say there's other issues if uh, there's other vulnerabilities that could be leveraged. So yes, there is a need to update sudo, but the real concern is if you have that PW feedback feature enabled. And I could see that by doing sudo l and yeah, PW feedback is there. But there we go. Anyway, that was a look at this PW feedback vulnerability in the sudo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.